my channel. Today I have a highly requested video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my perfume collection as well as my top favorite seven perfumes. I was going to do five but I really couldn't narrow it and then I was doing six but it felt kind of weird so I chose seven and these are just my perfumes that I rotate on a daily basis. I'm not the type of girl who just owns one perfume which is her signature scent. I like to have many 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 perfumes at a time. I'm actually on my way to Ulta after this because I definitely want to pick up Modern Muse and perhaps Burberry, my Burberry. But these are just the ones that I've been using and you guys seem to love the perfumes that I mentioned in my favorites video so I figured why not just give you guys my top favorite perfumes. If chosen right, I think perfume could be an amazing Christmas gift. You really have to know the person to give them a perfume or unless they just request it like if you make a list. So hopefully some of these make it to your Christmas list if you're the type of person to make Christmas lists. So first I'm going to insert a clip of the whole collection and I'm going to insert that right now. So these are my most used perfumes. I'm going to quickly go through them. Sorry if the camera is a little shaky. I'm holding my heavy camera with one hand. The first perfume I have here is Flora by Gucci. Then this one is by Vince Camuto. This one is Dolce by Dolce & Cabana. I have this little guy right here which is a little sample of the DKNY my DKY perfume, which I got from Sephora. Then I have this one, which is the Giorgio Armani C perfume. Back here, I have number three by DNG. So I keep that one in the back because it's a little bit taller. Then in the middle, I have 212 Sexy by Carolina Herrera. Then all the way in the back, I have this one, which is Premier by Gucci. So I keep that one back here because it's a bit bigger. So that is what that looks like. And again, I got this platter at Target. And I absolutely love it because it's mirrored and it looks really, really pretty. Okay, so now we're in front of my mirror. And I'm going to show you the other perfumes that I have that I don't really use that much. By the way, this mirror is from Target. This is an iHome speaker. And then I know I'm going to get a ton of questions on this. This is my lipstick tower from Zara Beauty. I will link it down below. Okay, so now I have this platter. I like to display my perfumes on these platters. It keeps it a lot more organized. This guy is from Michael's Craft Store. You can check like Hobby Lobby or any craft store. My mom got this for me. She actually used it for the Christmas decorations last year. And it fits my perfumes really, really nicely. Okay. So let's go through these. This one here is Fiori by Vince Camuto. Then I have this little rollerball, which is by Michael Kors, that I don't really use anymore, but I like to keep it just in case. Then back there, I have two deluxe samples of the Elizabeth and James perfumes, the black and white one. And what kind of girly girl would I be if I didn't own Flower Bomb by Victor and Wolf? This is actually a gift from last year. Then up here at the front, I have Fancy by Jessica Simpson. This huge perfume bottle back here is Rosa Botanica by Balenciaga. And I don't really use this one that much. It kind of smells a little strange on me. And then I have this one, which is also by Balenciaga. This one's Flora Botanica. I like this one a lot more. This one is so amazing, and I really don't have anything left of it. But this is by Givenchy, and it's called Hot Couture. A lot of people don't know about this scent. And it's like one of Givenchy's best kept secrets because it smells so amazing. I have this little sample, which is Dahlia Noir by Givenchy. And then I have this little Juicy Couture sample. This one's so cute. It's a Givenchy Play perfume, which I actually have back there. Then this one is a Bath & Body Works scent, which I don't really usually get, but this one was tiny and it's so good. It's a thousand wishes and it's part of their new collection, like one of their new holiday collections. Okay, next I have Chloe, which I basically never use. It's just sitting here. Like I like to use it to spray on my like bed sheets and on my pajamas. Then over here, kind of hiding, is this very Hollywood by Michael Kors perfume. I've had that for like forever. The bottle is really cute. Over there I have the Givenchy Play. I used to have the pink one too, but I actually ran out. This is a little like glitter puff by Tarina Tarantino. You basically just spray yourself with it. It's really, really nice. Then I have this one, which is actually supposed to be on the other platter, but there's no room for it. And this is the Dior Addict. It's the purple bottle. I think it's called sensual. Then I have a lotion of the Givenchy Play and then this Caudalie Divine Oil. And I also have this guy which is a Travelo which is just like a perfume automizer. Those are my not so used perfumes. Okay so now I'm going to talk about my favorite perfumes and I have a total of seven. I wanted to choose five but I just couldn't so I broke down the perfumes into day and night scents because that was recommended by you guys. You guys wanted to see my daytime and nighttime scents although I'm kind of the type of person that just sprays anything at any time, just depends on my mood and how I feel. So I use my nighttime scents in the day and my daytimes in the night. And the first one that I want to mention is this Dior Addict Sensual Perfume. 
And this one is a toilet. I absolutely love the bottle. It's pretty big. Sephora says this has jasmine, lilac, rose, and white musk notes. And the style is confident, sweet, and intense. And I definitely agree with the sweet side. I wouldn't say it's too intense. To me, this kind of smells like what a baby would smell like after a nice fresh shower. I don't know. It smells kind of powdery and I normally don't like powdery scents. It's floral and yeah, I agree. It has jasmine, white musk. It's musky but it's very sweet so I really like this one. It's a perfect daytime scent. It's very clean. It's very fresh. It's not overpowering or overbearing. It's just like the perfect daytime scent. It's perfect for work and I feel like it's just a really like pretty scent. And this size retails for $69 on Sephora.com. The next one I'm going to mention is Dolce by Dolce & Cabana. This is a pretty new scent. I love the bottle of this one. It has a floral top. It's so pretty. The actual perfume is like a nice light green color. I love the bottle. It reminds me of like an old school perfume. This is a perfume and this is 2.5 fluid ounces. Now the reason why I'm telling you guys if it's a perfume or toilet is because the perfume is a lot more concentrated, usually more expensive, and they're a bit more like oil based so they last longer on your skin. Whereas toilettes are kind of more like watery and Although this one is a toilet, it does last on my skin and it's not the type to just disappear after an hour. But this one is a parfum, so it's a lot stronger. Sephora says this has neroli leaves, papaya flower, white amaryllis, white daffodil, white water lily, cashmeran, musky notes, sandalwood notes. And the style of this is delicate, joyous, and avant-garde. This scent to me is very sophisticated but floral. It's a very... I would say mature scent, but not in a elderly way. It's more of a sophisticated scent. This scent is also very clean, very crisp, and very, very different. I don't know any other scents similar to this. This also smells like a fresh shower. Like, this is what I love to spray at night. Like, before I go to bed, I love to spray this on myself and in my pajamas because I feel so, like, at peace and relaxed because this scent is just truly calming and very pretty. This 2.5 fluid ounce size goes for $112 on Sephora.com and it really lasts a really long time. You really just need a couple spritz of this and it's really really nice. I wouldn't say that I'm going in order as far as my favorites because they're all technically my favorites. It really depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing but this one is probably like one of my most reached perfumes. This is Giorgio Armani C and I have the 3.5 4 fluid ounce and this is also a parfum. This perfume has black currant nectar, airy florals and musky blonde wood and the style is graceful, modern and unconventional. Notice that almost all my perfumes that I mention have musky undertones and that's just because I personally love sexy smells, kind of mysterious scents. This perfume is very very sweet. It literally smells like I wouldn't say candy, but it's very sweet and musky at the same time. It's not like the D&G 3 sweet. This is a very modern perfume and it's very light in a sense. Like it's musky, but it's also light and airy. It just leaves like a lingering scent and it really just works well with my body. And this is like a big time favorite for a lot of people. Everyone that I've put this onto has absolutely fallen in love. Every time I hug someone while I'm wearing this, People literally ask me, like, what are you wearing? And I like to mix my perfumes, so I like wearing this one with another one that I'm going to show you, but I love this. This is probably one of my favorites. I know I said I don't really have a favorite, but this has just been, like, my go-to no-brainer scent. I wear this all the time to school, to work, on a date. It's just a perfect perfume, and I love the name of it. See, like, it's Spanish for yes, and this perfume is a big yes to me. That was kind of corny. The next perfume that I'm going to mention is Flora by Gucci and this is my last daytime scent and this one is exactly what the name says. It's a floral perfume. This perfume is actually inspired by princesses so on Sephora's website it says it's a subtle sophisticated floral fragrance inspired by princesses from the past, present and future. The Floridana is a young classic and refined woman with the Gucci edge of power and sensuality. So the notes on this one are citrus accord, peony, rose, pink pepper, sandalwood, and the style is elegant, natural, and spontaneous. This is also a very floral scent, but it kind of has like a citrusy feel to it to me. I normally don't like citrus scents, 
but this is a more crisp it smells like like if you smell a bouquet of flowers if you were smelling the bottom of the vase I don't know that that sounds really weird but I feel like this smells like lilies or tulips like a, a garden of fresh flowers not roses it's floral but it's crisp and I really like it it's very sophisticated and it's not overpowering it's not like your flower bomb it's floral but it's very very subtle at the same time so I definitely think you guys should check this one out as well and now for my three nighttime perfumes the first one is this Vince Camuto perfume and I have a really tiny bottle I can't even read the bottom of it but I got it on Holt Look this is available online but just not on Sephora so either at the boutique or different like online fragrance shops I love the packaging on this one it has a really nice gold embellished top it's just absolutely amazing it looks so pretty and classy and just elegant and I really like this little charm that they have here this fragrance was announced as contemporary sexy and sophisticated it has notes of rum absolute and nectar so it's opulent and floral and also it has bulgarian rose and night blossoming jasmine enhanced with leather notes so that's a lot to take in it's a lot of different scents in one when i smell this i smell musk i smell patchouli i smell nighttime it almost smells like a cologne like a men's cologne i know that sounds kind of weird but i love cologne i love the smell of men's cologne i know some girls actually wear cologne like men's cologne as their perfume so if you do like that type of scent definitely check this out the bottle is really girly and fruity and feminine but the scent is very very musky it's almost like straight up musk patchouli and vanilla it smells good though like I think this is so sexy and confident and I don't know every time I wear this I also get a lot of compliments this is the perfume that I like to mix with my C by Giorgio Armani it just gives me a nice like fruity and sexy kind of mix and I like mixing my perfumes I always get compliments on my scent and I'm always mixing perfume I'm just and my next nighttime scent is also by Gucci I love Gucci perfumes I love Gucci Rush which I actually need to purchase that was one of like my first perfumes ever you should check it out it's like this red bottle from Sephora and I also love Gucci Guilty obviously but this one's Premier by Gucci and I love the bottle I think I just have like an obsession with perfume bottles I love the color gold this just looks like the perfect little gift box and it has a little charm which I'm a sucker for Sephora says this has notes of bergamot, orange blossom, white flower, musk, of course, leather, and wood. And the style is beautiful, powerful, and sensual. So this was actually inspired by the gowns worn at a show uh, from the Gucci Premier Couture Collection at a film festival from 2010. This perfume also is a little bit masculine to me, but it's also very sexy. It's a lot softer. It smells like a YSL men's cologne or like one of the Ralph Lauren colognes. It definitely smells like a date night to me. I think it's super sexy, sensual, and kind of like seductive because it kind of smells masculine, but it's feminine. It's not as floral as the other ones. Like I said, this has bergamot and orange blossom notes, so it's a little bit different. It's not so floral, but it's also very crisp. And also, who could say no to this packaging? It's literally like so cute. It looks amazing on a vanity. Okay, last but not least is 212 Sexy by Carolina Herrera. I mentioned this in my favorites video twice. And I love this perfume. The packaging on this is really nice because it has two balls of perfume. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm just distributing it a lot better. I don't know. It's weird. I just like the packaging. It stands up. It's really cute. It kind of looks like a little bullet. And this scent is pure sexy. And it says it has notes of tangerine, bergamot, rose pepper, floral petals, gardenia, cotton candy, sandalwood, two and two musk, and vanilla. That's like a crazy amount of notes and very crazy, like cotton candy and sandalwood. That's exactly what this is. It's sweet, but it's sexy. This is a very dark, musky perfume, but I wear this in the daytime, and I like wearing this when I have my full face of glam makeup, and I'm like all dressed up, and I feel really nice. I love wearing this perfume. It like literally makes my outfit, and I feel so much hotter when I wear this. Is that weird? I don't know, but it's amazing and yeah a lot of people don't know about this I think it's a really really underestimated perfume too and too sexy you should definitely check it out I feel like this is probably one of my signature scents 
if I were to have one, it would probably be 212 Sexy and Giorgio Armani C. These are probably the two that I would recommend the most from all my perfumes, just because they're very different, they're very captivating, and the type of scents that can become your signature scent, just because they are so different, and because a lot of people don't smell like that. This isn't your typical Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana or your typical Chance by Chanel perfume, although I do have to say I love the pink Chance. I think it's called Chance Tender. So amazing. These two are probably one of my two favorites because I know people are going to ask me which ones would I recommend, which ones should you guys ask for Christmas, Giorgio Armani C and 212 Sexy by Carolina Herrera. And if I had to pick another one, I would say Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. Those are very, very different types of scents and I love them all equally. It's really hard to just say one. Perfume is so important to me. Honestly, I don't feel complete when I don't wear perfume. There's probably not a single day that goes by that I don't get complimented on my scent. So I take my perfume very, very seriously. I'm a big perfume collector. Perfumes that I want to pick up are My Burberry by Burberry the Chanel Chance, and also the new Michael Kors perfumes. They're like these tall bottles. They have like a little set of three at Macy's. And that's really all the perfumes that I've been wanting to pick up. Let me know what are your favorite perfumes. I know a lot of you girls like Alien, and that's like my best friend's signature scent. It's just not really my type of scent. I like sexy, musky scents. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. On my lips, I am wearing the Lippy Sticks from ColourPop in the color Lumiere, which is by Kathleen Lights. I have a tutorial if you guys want to see on the eye look that I'm wearing, actually the whole face. So let me know if you want to see that. Just like this video and let me know in the comments. And I just found out my nail polish is not called Light Lavender. I know. I'm really, 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 really sorry that I've been saying Light Lavender. I swear I got it confused with another nail polish that's really, really similar to this. Mine's really chipped. But this is by Urban Outfitters. It is by Urban Outfitters. But it's called Rodeo Sweetheart. I know, I was totally off and I'm really, really sorry. But now you know, it's Rodeo Sweetheart. I feel like I have to go back to all my videos and write that in the description bar. Nail polish. Urban Outfitters Rodeo Sweetheart. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.